with a top story. We're talking about Tropical Storm Arthur, and Dylan has been tracking this storm. What's going to happen? Well, it is our first named storm of the season, and it is expected to strengthen into a Category 1 hurricane over the course of the next 24 to 48 hours. Right now, you can see it is much more organized than it was yesterday. It's 90 miles to the east of Cape Canaveral, Florida, and this is in prime location for the Gulf Stream, which is very warm, and it is going to help fuel this storm system. So because of that, we do have hurricane watches in effect right through the Outer Banks, including Cape Hatteras, and that's the area for the 4th of July that it looks like we are going to see the worst conditions out of this storm system. So watch what happens. As we go into early Thursday morning, there is the chance it's going to strengthen into a Category 1 storm. Here it is, just off the coast of the Outer Banks by 2 a.m. Friday. That's the 4th of July. Then it takes this turn to the northeast. Most of the Mid-Atlantic is fine, but we are going to see its effects on the outer arm of Cape Cod and also Nantucket. Watch the winds, though. The brighter the pinks, the stronger the winds, up around 50 to 60 miles per hour. That's what's going across near the Outer Banks, and then it makes its way over the water, and then it could come close to Nantucket, although it looks like that winds there should be about 40 miles per hour. Want to keep an eye out for the storm surge. It could be up to three feet, maybe even over three feet in Cape Hatteras. So we have to keep a close eye on this. Right now it is mostly out over the water, but something that is worth watching, especially because it could be the first hurricane of the season. I keep our fingers crossed. And we knew conditions were right for Arthur to develop into a hurricane. You can see the water temperature here, all of that red indicating that water temperatures are up around 85 degrees. That is fuel for this storm. And as it continues to pass over the Gulf Stream, it will remain as a Category 1 storm. Look at what happens. The heavy rain early Friday morning from Thursday night into the wee early morning hours of Thursday morning. That's when we're going to see our heaviest rain in North Carolina. But even at 11 o'clock Friday night, that's when the heaviest rain is going to be seen in parts of Massachusetts. Massachusetts in the Cape Cod, heavy rain across Nantucket as well. So it's a good thing they're bumping up the fireworks display to tonight. Here's a look at the wind field. In orange here, you can see that's where winds are up between about 40 to 74 miles per hour. Then it moves out over the water, so not much effect in the mid-Atlantic. And then we could even see those tropical storm force winds across the outer Cape and into Nantucket as well. We do have to keep an eye out, though, for the rip currents and also the storm surge. Imagine water normally being here. Well, a storm surge of about two to four feet would put it about two to four feet above where your normal sea level is. So all of that water comes on shore, and most likely we are going to have to deal with some coastal flooding, especially on the coast of North Carolina. In overnight, Hurricane Arthur made landfall in North Carolina. The howling winds gusted to 101 miles per hour, whipping through the Outer Banks, creating its own fireworks show, flipping a shed and downing trees. We are really uh, getting hammered with the wind. It is extremely hard to stand. It took more than four hours for the floodwaters to recede in historic Manio. The extent of damage has not yet been fully calculated, but some here say this is a way of life. We've been through this many, many times before. Wind blows, storms come, we clean up. Next day we go and do what we do. Arthur's powerful waves shifted the concrete barriers along North Carolina Highway 12, and the rush of water buckled portions of that sole artery to Hatteras Island. There's not only damage to the road, but also to some mobile homes. We are seeing some beach erosion. Uh, there are shingles off some houses. We have uh, some dock debris. But North Carolina's governor, Pat McCrory, was also happy to be the bearer of good news. The North Carolina beaches are open for business. And as beachgoers resume their holiday, officials warn about the potential dangers of rip currents. Though the damage was thankfully minimal, Jake Garibed says Hurricane Arthur definitely had an impact. The house was shaking, laying in bed or standing up, walking around, it kind of felt like an earthquake. 